This is the new Unique 360 drone, the Anti-Gravity A1. It has two ultra-wide cameras, one on the top and one at the bottom, allowing it to capture everything around it at once. Up, down, to the sides, a full view with no blind spots. And the most surprising thing is that the drone itself is completely invisible in the shot. It sits between the two lenses, and thanks to the precise 360 stitching, it literally disappears. The camera is floating in the air, and the device is nowhere to be seen. It looks impressive, but is it actually worth the hype? Let's dive in. We put on the goggles and fully immerse ourselves in the flight. During the flight, you can freely turn your head and look around. The viewing angle is not limited. It's a completely new experience of controlling a drone. There is a small mini landing here that protects the lower protruding lens. And it works just like on the airplane. During takeoff, the gear automatically retracts. And during landing, it extends. If you scratch the lens, not a problem. You can replace it yourself, just like with the Insta360 X5. The drone itself looks very futuristic, like a small spaceship from the future. In size, it's similar to the Mini 5 Pro and weighs under 250 grams. The kit includes a grip controller for flying. At first, I thought it was a strange solution, but after the first flight, all doubts disappeared. It immediately became clear how comfortable and intuitive the control is. Wherever you point the handle, that's where the drone flies. What's interesting is that when I'm flying upward, I just tilt my head up and I see exactly where I'm going. But your view is not tied to the direction of flight. You can look down while the drone flies upward, or look to the side while flying straight. Compared to a regular drone, it feels like my head controls the gimbal. It creates an even deeper feeling of immersion during the flight. Many of my friends tried this drone, and the cool thing is that they immediately understood how to control it. Everyone was impressed. A 360 camera floating in the air and connected directly to your eyes really feels amazing. Plus, the goggles have an external display that shows where the drone is flying, so people standing next to you can also see what's happening. They can watch the flight in real time. This is an entirely new category of drones. The company says that they didn't want to make just another drone. They wanted to create a modern way of flying, something more creative and accessible. Anti-gravity is a sub-brand of Insta360. The camera, stitching, image processing, everything is based on Insta360 technologies, so the image quality and interface logic feel very familiar. The feeling of flight is somewhat similar to FPV. You can fly close to obstacles, but it's a completely different experience. In FPV, you always look exactly where you're flying. Here, the view and the direction of flight are separated.
With regular drones, everything depends on how well you position the camera during the shot. Turn a bit wrong, the shot is ruined. Mess up the angle, you have to fly again. With the Anti-Gravity A1, everything works differently. You first make one free relaxed flight. The drone records the entire 360 sphere around itself in 8K. And then, in editing, you literally build the shot from scratch. You choose the camera direction, the angle, the framing on the subject and much more. From a single flight, you can create an incredible number of camera angles and movements. At one moment, an eagle attacked my drone. This has happened to me before. Birds sometimes go after drones. And in normal situation, it's very hard to quickly turn the drone and figure out where the predator is. But this time, it was different. Thanks to the 360 camera, I just turned my head and immediately saw the eagle. No need to rotate the drone or guess the direction. You literally see everything around you. A very unusual experience. Now we move to one of my favorite locations, the Palm Group. I invited my friend to help me test the drone, and he came on the cross bike. In this location, I turned off obstacle sensors so I could fly close to the trees. At first, I fly as a pilot and shoot different passes. I can fully focus on avoiding obstacles and not hitting the palms. I don't need to think about the camera angle or framing. I'm just doing smooth passes next to the bike. Later, during editing, I become the drone operator. I can rotate the camera and follow my friend on the bike. Even when the bike is behind the drone, I can keep him in the frame. Shots where the bike passes right next to the drone look especially cool. We also get access to different 360 effects. For example, you can create a tiny planet shot. I think this drone suits two categories of people. First, those who want new angles and a fresh approach to shooting videos. And second, those who just want to feel like Superman and see the world from above. Tell me in the comments what do you think about this new 360 drone. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.